Hey everybody, it's Jen, Retiree Wannabes, and we are coming to you today with a full tour of the travel trailer. We've been in here about a month. Um, we've still been local in Columbus. We've been staying at an RV park central while both of us finish up work. Savan's been done for about a week and I finished yesterday, so we are super excited. We leave on Monday to start traveling and so before we leave and everything's nice and organized we thought we would do a quick tour um, we've been looking all over YouTube when we were shopping for the travel trailer for a full tour of a um, 27 RR and there just isn't one out there so we're doing this for two reasons one a lot of our friends and family didn't get a chance to see it yet um, so they are asking how the heck we fit everything in 200 and some square feet and two for anyone who's shopping for a gray wolf um, 27 RR um, this will give you guys a good idea of how we were able to fit everything and store everything and organize everything so stay tuned hopefully this helps uh, everyone understand how we're making it work and how we're still married living in 30 foot uh, travel trailer <laughs> stay tuned So we've got the dogs over here. They want to be all involved in what we're doing. So again, we ended up going with a 27RR. It's a Gray Wolf by Forest River, and it's a toy hauler. So the basic floor plan is um, one side is going to be living slash um, bed slash uh, kitchen area. So we'll go through that. And then the second area is going to be bathroom and garage area where we store the Harley. That's also a secondary living space, as you can see. So we've got the entry here, and there's a screen door. At the entryway, we've actually added some um, coat hooks along the, the edge of the cabinet there, and that holds the dog leash, the, the towel to wipe the dog's paws, and we've also got a little headlamp in there for going out at night so that we can see what we're doing. So we've got, this is our little entryway. And then over here is going to be our um, bed and our sleeping area. Hi Mia and Lucy, are you posing? <laughs> so over here, um, I actually have my clothes stored in the upper cabinets there and the wardrobe along the side so that's where I have my things and then over here also at the entryway we've got two things that we found from Ikea this hanging um, felt organizer we basically just have you know little papers from the RV park that we're staying at parking pass um, keys and things like that can go there as we go in the entrance and then this little pouch over here, I found these at Ikea. There's a few of them that you'll see throughout the trailer. Um, they're perfect to hang for like phones. This one I hung above the phone charger. Um, so they hold just little odds and ends that normally you wanna throw down when you walk in the door. And we just can't do that here. It would just clutter everything up. And then in here, I took one of those hanging um, storage and cut that in half so that I just have two and that fits perfect. And then down underneath, um, this I do not like and need to improve, but this is a cavern for um, shoe storage down there. It goes down pretty deep, it goes back in there at least 20 inches. So I've got two plastic containers um, with um, like flip flops and summer shoes in there. And then actually there's boots in there and two pairs of tennis shoes. So it holds a lot more than you can see there. And then up top is more um, folded things. I rolled a bunch of sweatshirts and sweaters and scarves and things like that. And same thing on the other side for some more tops and things. And then in this um, box down here that we just ordered, I have like jeans, like long pants and stuff like that in this bin along with a couple um, heavier sweatshirts. So I did that over here on the side. And then over here, because we don't have a couch or recliners, a lot of times we'll just do a whole bunch of pillows and watch TV up there. 
As you can see, the girls like it. They can look out the window and see what's going on. And then there's another pouch over here. So this is basically a pouch that goes on the end of the bed for all of Savan's, um, you know, things that he puts by his bedside table that we no longer have anymore. So again, it just kind of holds some of the little odds and ends and clutter that we wouldn't just have room to set around the trailer. And then over here, we've got a um, sitting area slash dinette. So this will basically turn into a dinette area. Um, we usually keep it in this mode though um, because of the fact that we don't have a couch. So I've got a whole bunch of toss uh, pillows there and we can kind of set those up and watch TV and hang out there. And on the wall above the USB port, I did another one of those pouches. Um, currently, I have our little diffuser in there. It's a battery powered diffuser that doesn't use any water. So you can put essential oils in there and, and use it in here and not make it more humid than necessary. And I brought these um, trays from home. I thought these would be good since again, there's no coffee table or end tables. We can use those to set drinks and coffee on and move them from um, place to place. So again, this turns into a dinette area, but otherwise we keep it in this position until we eat. Down below, there's actually great storage. We've got down here um, our plasticware and measuring cups and um, oils and then the spices we use most commonly like salt, pepper, um, oil, spray, things like that. Um, I found these on Amazon. These are handy because they all collapse for measuring cups. And then these snapware, they all collapse and um, expand when you need them to. So they're nice. They all fit in this one container. And then I had all these boxes from Ikea that we've used in here as well. Um, they fold flat, but they're perfect to kind of divide everything out. And then I've got the spices that we don't use as frequently back here. Um, so sauces and, and bouillon and stuff like that. And then we've got all of our plastic wrap and foil back here with some lunch bags. The lunch bags we actually can probably take out now that we're not packing lunches for work anymore. Sure, this is more pantry type things. So cans, um, jars of things, and boxes, noodles, um, tea, extra coffee, etc. So that's this drawer, and it goes back pretty far as well. So um, there's lots of storage uh, down in here. So we've got TV and then tons of storage down below. So this is actually more kitchen stuff. We need all the kitchen storage we can get. So down on the very bottom, we put our little hand mixer, our Instapot, which we've used almost every day that we've been here. We've got all the liquor bottles that I'm gonna need to wrap individually with um, some um, plastic so that those don't bump as we travel. And then we brought one saucepan and then also back in there accessible on the other side of the cabinet is our toaster. So we fit all that in there. And then up here, I had these baskets already at home um, in our pantry. And so I did, one has is batteries and uh, 3M hooks and adhesives and extras. The middle one has coffee stuff in it. So we have our, we've got a small um, coffee maker, but I also have brought the um, maca pot and I also have a pour over um, to put filters in. So these can be used when we're boondocking and can't use the, um, the uh, what you call it, fake Keurig <laughs> that we got. And then in here we've got plastic bags, um, like sandwich bags and stuff like that. And there's a little spare bone that we haven't opened for the dogs over there hiding. We haven't gotten that out for them. So then over here we've got the kitchen. So the kitchen obviously has taken an adjustment to get used to since it's a lot smaller than we're used to. But we've actually made it work pretty well. Um, so up top here, this is going to be um, some pantry space with chips and, and breads and stuff like that. So we've got um, some containers to kind of keep those airtight. And then this bottom container has our 
thermoses and um, we've also got um, some other glasses in that one and then this one has our plates and cups so in here I've got our plates so that we can just um, pull that down like this and grab out the plates um, we've got coffee mugs and some um, plastic cups in there as well the plates are actually really great we found those plates at Target they were like a dollar each and we um, got bowls and everything to match and they're plastic so they're non breakable um, so those were actually a really good find so then we've got our microwave up here and then moving down on the counter this is probably the most I can tolerate being on a counter <laughs> Um, so right now we're staying where it has well water and so um, we're, we've been buying water so we hopefully won't have to do that every time but the water here just is not great to drink um, we did bring our entire knife block um, I know that takes up counter space um, but we just we really do use all the different knives and, and scissors on there so it was just easier to um, to take the whole thing with us paper so this is the little um, fake Keurig that we bought. It's Chulux and um, it was pretty inexpensive. It's so much smaller than our Keurig that we have at home. Um, and so far it works really well. So we brought that with us and that doesn't take up too much room. And then up top we've got dog treats and coffee. So things that we use once to twice a day, I kept out on the counter. So obviously when we travel, all of this will need to come down and go inside the sink um, for when we travel. But we've got all that up there and got these little seal um, containers from Marshalls or Home Goods, one of those. Um, and so those work really well. Um, our sink is awesome. So that gives us a ton of counter space with the um, cover there. Underneath the cover, we got a um, uh, dish container that folds flat. Um, so when we're not doing dishes, it sits inside the sink folded flat. Um, and it works really well to fill half the sink while we're doing dishes, so we love that. Um, down here we do have some storage space and our makeshift trash can. <laughs> so here in this drawer we fit our bowls and silverware. Moving down to the bottom drawer, we've got um, plastic bags to use as trash bags. We found that the trash bags are just easier to take out on a daily basis instead of filling one trash can, which we just don't have room for. And then there's some totally unorganized towels and washcloths and things like that. And then the boxes are just uh, the um, oils for the essential oil. And then under the sink, we've got another cabinet there that is kind of at an angle. So in here, we've got two cutting boards. We've got a dish drying mat there. And then we've got our cast iron and regular skillet hidden back in there with dish soap and sponges. Bowls have not been in the way down here, surprisingly. I thought they would bug me, but they're actually in a pretty good space right here, so we'll keep that there. Um, fridge and I, um, freezer, we've actually been able to make do with the small size fridge and freezer. So moving into the bathroom. We've got the bathroom in between the um, garage and the living space. And I was kind of worried about storage space, but the bathroom has actually been um, fine for us. So the medicine cabinet here actually doesn't have um, bad space at all. So there's two shelves, one, two. And I got these storage containers from Ikea that stack and kind of lock in together. Um, this even kind of locks in so I'm hoping as we travel I won't have to open the door carefully <laughs> and wait for things to fall out and hit me um, but they've worked out really good and then we just installed the towel rack so this is the um, 3M that sticks on the wall and comes off easy so we put that in there as well counter space isn't bad there's plenty of space to get ready every day and then down underneath we've got a double cabinet under there and inside there, I've just done some of those little inserts. Um, so I've got the black IKEA insert here and um, the little trays down there at the bottom to hold all the extra toiletries and such. Cleaning supplies are also under here as well. We've got a lot right now because we downsized from a kitchen and two bathrooms into just this one space. But it goes back in there, so we've got a lot of depth um, back in there, and so we've got everything kind of organized in priority for the stuff that we use most frequently in the front. 
Um, so storage space isn't bad. That's a little dark, but we've got our travel bags and stuff put, put back in there. And then over here, I've got another one of those um, pouches hung up here. And that just has the stuff that we kind of use frequently, lotion, air freshener, comb, and stuff like that. And then on the back of the door, we bought an organizer, super cheap off Amazon. I think it was like $9. And the top holds all of our sunscreens and bug sprays and stuff like that. Hair dryer, curling iron, our medicine cabinet type of stuff, allergy meds, pain reliever, stuff like that. And then toilet papers in the bottom one. And we've just kept that there. We haven't installed a toilet paper holder because it would just be in the way. This is obviously tight quarters back here. So we just keep it in that bottom one. Got a um, soap dispenser that holds um, all of our, most of our um, soap so that we don't have bottles and stuff like that. And then we did install the little hooks um, to hold washcloths and, and things like that. Um, in here again the 3m that come off pretty easy so we've got the bathroom and that's the gist to that and then moving into the garage area we've got a whole nother living space back here we've got some storage on the top as well and then back here is actually where Savan keeps his clothes so um, he did this this is over top of the wheel um, well cover so you can see this side has that little step with the carpeting and so over this side he cut one of the legs of this Ikea four cube um, organizer cut one of those off and added screws onto the bottom to raise it up so it was high enough and so far it works good he's gonna figure out a better way to secure it when we travel um, maybe with tie downs or something but in there that's all his clothes there and then this other little cube sitting off to the side is the dog stuff. So we've got like the dog's flea medicine and heart guard and stuff like that in there. Um, extra dog bag rolls and stuff like that. And up here on the wall or on the door rather, we've got hooks installed for towels. And then on the flip side of the door, we got another one of those organizers because they work so well and that holds all of his smaller items socks and things like that and then over here we installed some more hooks and that's holding all of our coats and um, sweatshirts right now and then dog foods in the container below we found a container that's the perfect size for um, a 13 pound uh, bag of dog food and then don't mind our little makeshift um, door stopper there <laughs> that keeps the door open so then we've got our second entrance here. So we've got the back entrance that goes into the garage. And then over here is our secondary living area. So when we're parked and the motorcycle's not in here, it's basically two couches. Um, now it comes with a big table and the, the goal for the table is that it can make into a queen size bed if you put the table down here between the two couches and then all of these cushions fold out into a queen size bed. With us traveling, we will never use that. So we stored the table with the rest of our storage items and bought this um, collapsible um, ottoman, which works perfect because that holds all of our laundry. So there's three compartments in there and um, we're using that as sort of a laundry area until we do laundry. Up top here, we've got the storage up top and we found the folding bins, I think at Ikea. These came from Ikea. And um, that is gonna hold all of our extra stuff. So the first one is extra bath towels um, and wash rags and hand towels and stuff like that. The second one is electronic cords, cords for like our electric blankets, phone chargers, headphones, anything that relates to electric gadgets. Um, the third and fourth one, honestly, I don't even remember. I think that's more Savant stuff, to be honest. <laughs> Over on this side, we've got one that's going to hold um, our, like, uh, Mia's backpack, because we do backpack her when we do longer hikes. And we've got um, a picnic, a foldable picnic blanket in there. And sorry, the camera's going crazy. The second one, we've got... Um, hiking gear in there 
Um, so our hydration backpacks and little day packs and things like that are in there. And um, then we've also got our hiking books and tourism books and things like that with a whole bunch of places um, tabbed for different hikes that we have coming up. So that's in there. There's a folder with some of the dogs vet paperwork and stuff like that. That's kind of stashed up in there as well. So that's been good storage for us. So when we travel, these couches both go up, they raise up, the cushions come off, we set those to the side, and then this whole area will be completely open for the motorcycle to come in here. So this back wall that you see is gonna drop down as a ramp. The motorcycle will come up in here, and there are tie downs underneath the couch that will um, tie the motorcycle down. The other thing that we love about this is during warm weather, we can put this down and put it into party deck mode and the metal that you see there is going to be the railing going around the party deck. So once we get to warmer weather, we'll show you that and that'll extend the living space even more so that we can sit outside. So hopefully you enjoyed the tour. Lucy's all tired out now, so it's nap time around here. Hi Lucy, is it nap time? Yeah? Well, stay tuned. We will hit the road in a few days. More videos to come. And our first stop will be Kentucky, Memphis, and Hot Springs is going to be coming up next week. We'll see you guys soon.